the starts of the day. Uh, another walk out with Russia. It's going up the farm track towards Coots Lane, not down the muddy track this morning. And the water on that field has subsided a little bit, or quite a lot to be fair. And um, still and blue sky. And what is today going to bring? Sanders has been playing with Lego. Are you a YouTuber? If you're watching this and you've got a YouTube channel, have you, are you getting sent gifts from YouTube? Um, I've had a couple now, and one of them is the YouTube Lego um, cube. And I thought it'd be just like literally four or five bits of Lego, and it's not, it's quite complex. So um, yeah, so Sanders has been videoing that, uh, doing that. So I might do a, a video of that on its own, um, in its own rights. Okay, right, let's finish Rush's walk off and then um, get into the office and sort out today. Uh, all things considered, there's been quite a few people on touring this weekend. Uh, it was originally quiet. I'm going to have to go because I need a dog bag. Uh, uh, bin jumping. Um, I have no idea why that bin's been bought in. Let me have a thing quick that's come from eBay as well. The other day when I was packing up my big awning, the uh, main awning bag, uh, it was like a cottony bag uh, split. Uh, and so I've ordered a super big one from eBay what's come so I'm going to um, I'm going to do that and I might also just while I'm remembering have to something's caught me eye so I don't do my washing up in the caravan are very 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 rare uh, and those that have been watching the vlogs will know that I use the um, where the kitchen sink is for want of a better word in the cooker I have it as a work area sorry this is what Sandra has her apples in but I was given a load of these um, some time back. Um, sorry, some sunlight's beating, that's, that's better. Um, mushroom crates and places will give you these, fruit shops and uh, green grocers, will, they give them away. And those, I put, um, I got one of those outside my caravan and I put a draining board and a washing up bowl in there. And then I put all my um, dirty pots in and then normally about once a week I can just physically just carry that over uh, with all me washing up that can go in the washing up area and it's nice and easy to transport back and yeah just much easier than cleaning in the uh, sorry cleaning washing up in the caravan I'll, sh I'll show you later outside the van what I mean I've just got some um, clothes that I put in the washing machine yesterday drying so I need to take those back over um, yeah lovely day in the nurseries uh we've got blue sky see what um see what today brings and obviously all this rain that we've had is slowly subsiding away all right so awning and awning bags anybody who's ever bought a brand new tent if you've ever bought a brand new tent you get it out of the bag you go and pitch it up up for a week up for a weekend up for a day however long you, you're away for same with an awning and then you come to put it back in the bag and because they've had all the Air's all been extracted from them. Getting them back in the bag are an absolute sod. So this is the um, full-size awning that I took down the other day. This was the bag that it goes in. And unfortunately, I don't know if you can see or not, but this bag has started to give way. So, um, again, anybody with an awning or a tent will know exactly this problem, what I'm talking about. So I've been on eBay. And look at the size of this great, these great big bags you can buy. These are between 10 and 15 quid. And basically, I'm hoping, well, I'm more than hoping, I know, that that's going to be able to roll into this, like, sort of nylon-y bag. Um, and if anything, this bag's going to be too big. I don't know if you can see the size of it. So they've got a full zip and everything. So it saves struggling. And then, obviously, what we can then do is zip it up fold over the ends um, and fingers crossed I'm going to decide when Sandra comes up in a couple of weeks whether to stall this back under the bed um, in my caravan because I'm not definitely well I'm almost certain I'm not going to put this up next year I'm going to just put up a porch awning um, or whether to store it in the shed so obviously the 
issues you've got if storing anything outside is mice. Um, mice like to gnaw the way into anything that can be bedding material. I think we've shown you some of the insulation pipe. So I'm going to um, just open this bag up and I'll show you what it's like when, uh, when I get the awning, awning in. Right, so that has gone in there absolutely incredibly easy. There would, would be enough room if I wanted to, to actually put the poles um so that's, that's the other awning um so that the poles and the curtains and accessories into this big bag i'm not going to do that because of the sheer weight um so yeah i'm impressed with that right let me pull this up you can see you can see how big this is all them days are struggling with bags that are too small all gone there's your bag there's your handle that just needs pulling in now, as I say. You can clip that in, you can put a couple of bungee cords around there if you wanted, um, or a ratchet strap. And that's got to be damn sight easier than um, messing around with, with that where you're absolutely really struggling. Uh, so just having a quick ponder on the site and uh, We've not had any rain for 24 hours and we've got a beautiful sunny day today. Nice breeze blowing off dampness. Um, YouTube's got a new thing, allegedly. I'm only allowed to do this uh, once every three minutes and so no more. Um, why don't you like this video? So hit the like button and have you subscribed? So hit the subscribe button if you've not already done so. And apparently those two magic words there's a new logarithm from YouTube where some of you will see a little bit of confetti. Some of you won't. Um, those that know will know. Um, yeah. Right. This tent area, obviously. Leaves coming off. Uh, I don't know whether... Just looking how wet the grass is. I don't know whether I can do this final bit of grass cut on the seasonal area or well I'm gonna sack that now until um until spring. Let's go and have a, a quick look. That's a recent grass cuttings from a couple of days and this is southern So again we cut here. This was at, this was actually underwater. Oh the the swim the swimming pool has has gone. Um So here was completely out and that's now gone and so a mowed here. Um, yeah, it's not soaking wet but it's definitely damp. Uh, yeah mowed here, mowed the back bank, mowed, mowed, mowed and basically I've got these couple of outer ones to do. Um, we'll see. Oh, there's definitely one thing for sure, though. Yeah, you know, I, I know. I keep saying this, but it just never rains here at the nurseries. It just never ever rains. It's just, it's just beautiful here all the time. It never rains. Well, sometimes on a Thursday, occasionally on a Friday. Has been known on a Saturday. Rarely on a Sunday. I'm just going up to the cottage and the reason being I've just seen a, a white van I'm just going to make sure that we've not had an Amazon delivery dumped outside um, so we've got a now we've got a family in the cottage um, it's half term and working on an adult only site you get lost in um, where you are with holidays no kids right so it's a bit chilly and today for my dinner it's not a pork pie, and it's not a rib, it's not a salad bowl, and it's not a burger. So I'm winding down now because I've literally got a couple of weeks to go till um, till I finish. So I'm winding down on my emergency food. So I've got some bits of frozen stuff still left, and as a just in case I run out of food altogether, I've got a couple of steak slices and these these are hot uh, don't look very hot but they've been in the oven i've just cooked them so going for the uh i'm going for this steak slice option for my lunch so i'm going to wolf those down get some water down my neck 
and I am going to jump out on the mower because I um, take advantage of the weather and fingers crossed the last mow of the year will be coming up all right that's uh petrol in the mower oh, one steak slice eaten one steak slice in my hand um let's get out there and do what should be the final mow of the year this really will be the final mow of the year providing it doesn't rain this afternoon and it shouldn't be doing Those I've been watching this vlog for a while. Do you remember the first cut we did back in March? And if you remember, the grass hadn't been cut since I think it was almost the middle of September. And then we went through, I don't know, a mower belt a week, if you remember. Anyway. A little bit better this year because the mowers have kept going right till the end of the season so they will be given a proper wipe down ready for next year and then um, next spring we'll give another go over take the decks off and give the blades a cut so just coming over here so those that have watched me cutting grass and just keeping an eye on the barrier for um, couple of check-ins I've got coming in this afternoon. Such a beautiful day. It never ever rains here. Ever, never rains. Always sunshine. Always blue sky. Okay, so that's all the Touring area caught a few days ago and seasonal pitches we go the other day. That's all just been done now. Final cut of the year. All the outside ones done. on here over winter it's all cut it's all cut so these are all cut Taking the mower now. Again, going nearer and nearer the gate. And I'm just going to do around the pod for the last cut. And it should also be the last cut for these um, these couple of lodges. Mine. I'm not going to cut now. Uh, the, that's going to be bases put down there over winter. The lodges. But we will be cutting down here. And we're going to cut down here. We're going to quick, quick to do this now, and then that's going to be the final, uh, the final job of the Husqvarna for the year. All right, let's lower the deck and get the blades cutting. So those have been watching this channel for a, for a while will remember when we put the lodges in and we put the turf down here do you remember the turf and then i was watering it and nurturing it and watering it a little bit more then we gave it we gave it a little cut a high cut a lower lower cut and look how lush that that turned out to be um, absolutely beautiful and that will now probably be the final cut a little bit more to cut and on the cut blades on and that will now probably almost certainly be the final cut of the year 
Right, I've got one last grass box to go and empty. Barrow in my way. <laughs> let, me move, let me move that. Watching this um, this mower here has got a electric clutch on it. And quite quite clever. So I'm just going to close that down because we're done for um, done for in here. Um, up to the van. Uh, beautiful day. What's the weather like now where you are? How how was Storm Babette? Or whether it was cold. Did you did you survive? Was it as bad as over here in Lincolnshire? This will now be a couple of a couple of days later when you uh, when you see this one. Right, good progress today. Good and steady progress. Russia, what have you got in your mouth? Why? What have you done to my bed? You've totally demolished my bed. What are you eating? Oh, right. She keeps burying things under my pillow. You've demolished my pillow, Russia. Have you, how long's that been buried there? I only changed the bed in yesterday. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, crazy dog, right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, hey, what are, you, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, <laughs> got another one. Hmm? What are you doing? What on earth are you doing? You, you're just a mad dog. Have one of those. There you go. Yeah, washing up. I was saying before, wasn't it, with these crates. So you see this here. So you can just bung your washing into your bowl there. Take that over. And then when you need to do your washing up, you just take the whole crate over. And uh, nice and easy. Ever so easy. Um, oof. They're all dried out down here now. So do you remember the other day? Oh, my pi me pigeons, me, <laughs> me pigeons come off. This is a bit of a waste of time. It's meant to be a, a, a deterrent pigeon, and he never was. There we are. <laughs> oh, the things we do, eh? The just things. Before we do. I forget, um, it's Cobley who's staying with us over winter and into summer next year. We have got some Scooby snacks. And, 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 oh, yeah, well, one night this week, we've got some Campsite Warden energy drinks, do, 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 do. and for Sandra, a bottle for Sandra as well. Um, so I'm going to keep the bottle in the posh bag and put that with Sandra's little stash when she's up. She's only got a... Uh, yeah, two weeks to go, three weeks to go, something like that, and you'll be seeing Sandra on the campsite. Sandra's table accumulating. Um, we have got a couple of vlogs coming from Sandra as well. Um, so she's done a full vlog, I think it's 20 minutes long, um, where she goes off out for a walk into a local park and the green belt. So I've kept that away from myself. So you have got a Sandra vlog coming up. And as I say, um, I got sent this Lego thing YouTube cube out of Lego 
And I said to Sandra, I got it delivered back to our house. And she's uh, she's built that. Uh, I've also got some more product reviews coming up, a couple more as well. And I'm getting now to the stage where I'm going to have to start getting things shipped uh, back to Manchester, not to here, um, with things coming from Germany. So I've got another three lots of reviews to do as well. Um, coming up, some couple of interesting things, which I hope you're going to like. I've got no idea why I just said products being sent from Germany. What I should have said is products being sent from China. Um, the reason I've got Germany on my mind, um, I mentioned to a subscriber, well, somebody commented the other day about living in Germany and said, um, I do at one stage, at some stage, want to go to Cologne with Sandra uh, for a couple of reasons. I've got no idea uh, when that'll be. He'll probably, fingers crossed, maybe next year, but I do want to go and have a long, long weekend, uh, three, four nights in, uh, in Cologne with Sandra. Anyway, I am going to think about finishing this off, but I've just seen seen something out of the corner of my eye on the ploughed field here look at this did you see that let's have a look again shall we you see you just never know what you might see if you come to stay with us at the nurseries and bear in mind that we are open all year so you can come and see us over winter where it never rains and we get things like that that you've seen thanks ever so much for tuning in thanks ever so much for watching take care everybody mm -hmm.